oh man, we are back this time with some really cool accessories for your foam flinging or gel flinging blaster. That's right, you could do either or, well kinda. This time it's gonna be from the fine folks over there at T238. Now this is not the first time I've dealt with them. If you guys remember a long time back, we did a few reviews on their kind of grenades. They also got some flash ones, which we'll review here in a little bit, but you're able to fill these things with nerf darts, short darts, long darts, rival balls, throw them. They had the impact one where it would just go and kick everything. And they had a timed one where you could throw it and it would go after like five seconds. So this was my first um, kind of deal with T238. And you guys can see here, I mean, they do a lot more than just suppressors and this stuff, right? So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. But I was like, yeah, let's try these things out. Um, now we got two of them. We got a smaller and a larger one here. This is the larger one. And this one does have a ball bearing scar in it, which I thought was really, really cool. So I'm gonna flip up the camera here so you guys can see what comes in these packages and what you guys can kind of get. Then we're gonna take it outside and see how these things perform. Some of the goodies you get with the different type of tracer units, as well as some of the accessories you can get with it to really make this thing pop. So uh, there are two different types like we talked about. One is going to be the smaller type, with, which is just the tracer unit and that's it. And then you can get the bigger one, the JDL X, which you can see here, Nerf rifling with RGB tracer unit. So it's a basically a scar with the tracer unit built in. And both are fine. This one definitely is much heavier than this one, uh, but this one definitely comes with a few things that I feel like they should put on this one. So let's just take a look at this one first. So you can see here, whoo, it is uh, pretty crazy. Now they wrapped this orange on the end of theirs. Now all of these come in with built-in batteries so you can take off the end and there is a USB port right here that you can plug right in. They come along with a charger, plug it in. I mean, I've shot a lot of rounds through mine and I have yet to recharge it. So I don't envision these things taking a ton of juice. Now to put these on, super simple. You just pop off this back and it has like a little collet underneath. So you can kind of see that. And I don't think you could see the ball bearing scar in there, but if you can, if you look real close, there is basically nine ball bearings in there. Uh, way in there. They're basically this whole front part right about here. And then this is the flash unit on the end. So uh, what's different about this is this is going to slide over your barrel. And I've noticed some barrels don't fit this in there. They're just too big to put in there. But the barrels that do fit typically like this here, I'll, I'll pull up my pump skewer here. Typical barrel slides right on. Boom. And then you'd have your collet. So when you tighten this on, it really clamps it down and it actually clamps it down really, really good. Um, but again, I did notice some barrels did not fit this and I was like, oh my gosh. So uh, with this, there are a ton of options when it comes to uh, the different types of flashes and our strobes you want. So there is a big button here that says start. I'm just gonna go ahead and push that forward. Now watch your eyes. I know people are light sensitive, look at that. <laughs> and now once it did that, it's like, okay, I'm ready to go. And now you can push forward and you could rotate through the different color cycles and flash cycles. So you got red, we got yellow, got green, got blue, got like a lighter blue, a purple. I don't know what that color violet is, got mixture. So you can pick and choose here again, what makes sense for you guys and what you guys like. You know, I kind of like the green, I kind of like the blue. I think it all looks, it all looks really, really good. Um, and that's how easy this thing is to shoot. So every time a dart passes through here, the sensor is gonna pick it up, give it that flash, and it's gonna brighten up the uh, either the end of the dart or some of these, which we'll talk about here in a second, and it'll make it glow for you know five to 10 seconds or whatever it is down the line. And I think it looks awesome. So still looks really, really cool. Now, if we take a look at the smaller one, which is just a tracer unit, this one is kind of the same thing. Um, on the bottom here, it comes off. But you're gonna notice here that this is more just a one inlet design. You got your charging right there underneath the top. So I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but it's right there. So that goes like this. This slides in there and this will typically stay on, right? You don't really ever take that off. But you're gonna notice that down here, it's just, there's no collet. It's just kind of a bigger opening and it does come with two different types of uh, kind of collars here. So for example, if we tried putting this on my pump skewer, it would just be way huge, it just, right? It just ain't gonna work. But on some of these, you can put the collet like that, then put this, and then there you go, right? So it, it's more adaptable, I think, than this one here. 
But then of course you got a threaded one here and I think this is more for um, barrels that have the threaded end. I don't have anything. My real steel have that, but I don't have anything that threads. So these two are the main two that I'm gonna use. And you'll notice that one of the things that I noticed is, you know, putting these on a gel blaster, it was hard to find a gel blaster with a tip that would either fit that or fit one of the collets. And luckily I had one. So we're gonna be shooting this in our demo. We're gonna shoot that like that. But man, this ne definitely needs to be colored orange on the end for sure. And this works really, really easy as well. Uh, the on button is actually hidden in one of these grooves. I don't know if you could see that, but it is right about there. So you push it and it's kind of like the same thing. Again, with photo sensitive people, watch your eyes. So you're gonna push it, it's gonna cycle through the same things that we've seen before. So you got the greens, the blues, the light blues, the reds, the, the violets, and you pick and choose what you like. And again, there's no ball bearing uh, scar in there, but it's just the end part of that. It's just this part of this right here. So you shoot this and it will light up whatever you're kind of sending through it. Now, if you want maximum efficiency out of these for this to light up something, I don't think these light up, of course, regular darts, but you can get these, the Tracer Gel Balls. This is about 6,000 and these were like really, really cheap. Um, I got a bunch of them that we're gonna shoot here in a little bit, gives you instructions, about seven to eight millimeter gel balls. You can see them right there. They're kind of glowy. Or you can get something like this. I think these are awesome. These are T238 uh, Tracer Rounds, look at that. And if you could see the top, it's almost like a clear, I don't even know what type of that stuff. <laughs> it feels like a regular dart head, but I'm pretty sure there's some real uh, tech name for the stuff that can store and hold the light. I don't know what it is, but it feels just like a regular dart. And I got a bunch of these, which I think is awesome. But that is what you guys get inside uh, the package. Let's just go out and shoot this thing. You go you can see that you know whether you're shooting nerf darts out of this whether you're shooting gel balls they're actually both really really fun and i get it that it is very very situational again these are probably primarily used at night because you never would use them during the day you might use the ball bearing scar but i would say if you're going to primarily play during the day just get a ball bearing scar without a tracer unit 
But overall, if you want to just kind of spice things up at night, if that's your type of gameplay, or if you just want to go out and just have fun, because it's getting, getting dark earlier now. So I say, hey, you know what? I like picking up one of these things. I like shooting the gel balls out of it and just kind of seeing where they go. It's just kind of cool. I don't know. But is it practical? Not really. But I still think they are definitely kind of cool, um, you know, kind of little gadgets and gizmos to kind of use during the winter months because we all know it gets dark at like 4 o'clock. So, you know, being able to kind of shoot these in the backyard or whatever I think is awesome. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of all that. Thanks again, Fox fans.